Hello everyone, welcome to day 1 of the webinar series BASIC on transforming teaching learning process using ICT tools organized by IQAC PGDAV College, University of Delhi. So we would be covering a lot of tools here. This is a glance of the tools that we would be covering. I am Shikha Minani, Assistant Professor, PGDAV College, University of Delhi. And today, the, this video is about Google Classroom for the beginners. I know that many of you are already aware about this. So, if you think that you know the basic nitty gritties of Google Classroom, then you can also skip this video and you can move on to video number 2. The, what are the benefits of Google, using Google Classroom? Why do we need it in this pandemic time or while conducting the flipped classrooms? Because it helps in creating an online class with all our students. We can share material, videos and other content and that can also be saved for future in our Google Drive so that we can reuse it for the other classes that we may have later on. We can take the assignments, questions, quizzes from the students and we may also know and keep a schedule as to how many of them have submitted or how many of them submitted late or did not submit at all. We can pre-schedule all our material assignments and tests and we can also link our Google Classroom with the Google Meet and we can schedule our live lectures with our students. So let us have the activity time now. It's better that you watch these videos on your mobile and then you practice it on your laptop along with us. So to get started with Google Classroom, there are various ways of opening your classroom. For the first, you can simply type on your browser Google Classroom and this link would open which is classroom.google.com. When I click on this, I would be redirected to the Google Classroom page because I am already signed in on my Gmail account on my laptop. So, you can see that there is just one class because this is my institutional ID. Now, the other way of opening the Google Classroom is go to your Gmail account and here you can see these nine dots or the Google Apps. When we click on this, the Gmail would directly lead you to this icon which is the icon for Google Classroom. So, you can click on this and you would be sent to the same page which was coming when I type Google Classroom on the browser. But I will close this because I don't use my institutional ID for logging into the Google Classroom. Now I will take you to my personal Gmail and here I will again take you to the Google Classroom. Now why I am using my personal Gmail account is that uh, sometimes there is a problem if we are using the institutional ID and creating our Google Classroom, then some participants, they face the difficulty and they are not able to join the Google Classroom. So it's better that we use our personal Gmail account to create the Google Classrooms. So this is, these are the classes. Some of them I have attended and some of them I have created. So to know that, uh, I will just go to the main menu and here you can see that these are the three classes which I have created. I am the teacher here and these are the few classes where I have enrolled as a student or as a co-teacher. So these are those classes and below I can see that there are certain archived classes which I will show you how you can archive and then delete a class permanently. Now to start with the class as a teacher what you have to do is you have to click on this plus sign and you have to go to create a class because I am a teacher and the main purpose of uh, my learning this Google Classroom is to create a class. But the students when they will open their Gmail account or Google Classroom, they will have to click on this join class. So I will go to create class and a dialog box would appear. I will just click on this uh, terms and conditions and click on continue. So I have to provide a class name, I will simply write demo class which is mandatory. The other things which is the section and the subject, they are not mandatory. 
So it's up to you whether you want to give these details or not. I'll click on create and my new classroom with the name of demo class would be created. So remember that when you are using your institutional ID which is basically uh, linked with the G suit, it's a G suit. So there might be some problem for the students to join. So it's better that you use your personal Gmail ID. But again, there is some issue with the personal Gmail. The number of students are limited to 250 students per class. But with the institutional ID or the G suite, the number of students can be up to 1000. Right. So this is the class that I have created. You can see that here we have the demo class. Now, how do I change its appearance? If you want to change the appearance, we have to click on this select theme. So when I click on the select theme, it will redirect me to the various themes that are provided to me free by this Google Classroom. I can select any one of them. If I'm taking a maths class, I can simply select this and I can click on select class theme. So you can see that the theme has been changed. You can also upload a photo. So if I want, I have the photo of all my students and I want to upload that. So you can click on upload photo and then that photo can be browsed from your device and can be put in here. Now, let us understand these four tabs that we have. The first is the stream tab. Then we have the classwork. We have people and we have marks. Now, when you are using G Suite, then instead of marks, you would find grade written over there. So it doesn't matter. They are all synonymous. Now, what is the stream? This stream is just like when we uh, go to the social media, we have the uh, Facebook and Instagram. So whatever notifications are coming, whatever is happening is coming on to your Facebook or Insta page. So similarly, if the teacher is giving any assignment, putting any material, all that would be visible to the students on their stream and would be visible to the teacher also. So it is just like all the communications at one particular platform which can be done using this stream tab. Let us get started with it and see how we can make use of this. So for this I will write here welcome because I have just started the class and you can see that there are two boxes here. It asks me with which classes I want to share this particular message. So I can either share it with demo class or the other three classes to which I am the teacher. I cannot share it with the classes which I have joined as a student, but I can share this message with the other classes also in which I am the teacher. So I can select that by default. It is this particular class, which is demo class. I can also decide to which students it should be visible. Right now, there are no student in this particular class, but otherwise, if there would have been like uh, 50 students, so I can select the 10 students to whom I want to share a particular assignment. So it helps me in deciding or assigning some projects to a particular group of students. Now, if I come below, I can see here is this post up. Now, this particular message can be either saved as a draft and it can be used later on or I can schedule it. Suppose I know that the session is going to start from 16th of August. So what I can do is I can schedule it right now. I can click on schedule and I can mention the date as uh, 16th or 17th of August for a particular time. And then on that particular date, this message would be automatically sent to the students because I have scheduled it. If I want to post it right now, I will just click on post and this message would be visible to the students. But if I have scheduled it, then the message would be visible to the students only after that particular date. So this was about the stream tab. On this left side, you can see upcoming. So we will learn later on that if we are giving any assignment to the students and it has a particular due date, then all that would be coming here so that students know that the due date is approaching and they can complete their assignment. So it is like uh, basically what do you call that? It is like a sticky note for the students so that they remember that this work has to be done by them. Now the other important thing in the classroom is how do you make your students join your classroom? So for that I will go to this people tab and we can see that 
we have two things we have teachers and we have students in the teachers my name is already there because i have created this class i can also invite my fellow teachers if i want or if i am sharing a particular subject with any other teacher then i can click on this plus sign and i can type the name of some other teacher and i can send them the invite so what will happen is the other teacher would also act as a co teacher for my this particular class and they can do all the things which a teacher can do except archiving or removing the class so this is the benefit to add the teachers we can only use the email id right but if you want to add the students you have two options either you can type their email here or the other better option is go to the class where this demo class is written and you can see this class code click on this square which is drawn and you can see this code just copy this and you can send it to your students via whatsapp and just by clicking on that plus sign and clicking on join by typing this code the students would be able to join your demo class so this is how you can make your co teachers and your students join this particular class and you can be engaged with the learning mechanism in the second video we'll see how we can create various topics material assignment quizzes and how we can grade it thank you so much